Trigonometry is a branch of mathematics that studies relations of the sides and angles of triangles, including re relevant functions of any angles. Trigonometry is often used in animated movies to help rotate, move characters, and create characters. Like Pixar animator Tony D. Rose once said, Without mathematics, we wouldn't have these visually rich environments and visually rich characteristics. Get this. It's so frustrating. Trigonometry is really important. I don't even get why we have to use it. It's useless. What am I going to do with it? Mm. Well, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a Pixar movie animator. Well, Kit Kat, what are your favorite Pixar movies? Um. Kit Kat, Kit Kat. Hmm? So what are your favorite Pixar movies? Oh, my favorite Pixar movies are Monster Inc, Toy Story, and that- Oh, there's some really good movies. Hey look, there's Maggie. Maybe she knows how to trade his oh, yeah. Pixar movies. Hi Maggie. Hi Maggie. Hey guys. Hey. For example, in Monsters, Inc., Trig is used to know how wide the door opens. The trigonometric function that is being used is arc length. When viewing the door from the top, the door opens at 120 degrees and the radius of 3 feet. The formula that is being used is arc length is equal to radius times radians. But before substituting, the degree must be converted to radians. 120 degrees then equals 2 pi over 3. Now we can start substituting. So, the arc length is equal to 3, which is the radius, times the radians, which is 2 pi over 3. You multiply, and it turns out to be that the arc length is equal to 2 pi. So, putting that into the calculator, the arc length should equal 6.283. That is how wide the door opens. Now, let's pretend the monster did not fit through the door. How much more would we have to open the door so the door is opened all the way? This is called finding the reference angle. By finding the reference angle, you get the closest angle, which is 180 degrees, and you subtract what you already have open, which is 120 degrees. Subtracting the 120 from the 180, you will get 60 degrees. Now, the door must open 60 degrees more to be able to fit the monster through and having the door fully open. Do you guys get it now? Uh, kind of. Well, another way Trig is used in Pixar movies is by using midpoint. Midpoint is used to split a segment in the middle. For example, the segment AB is split by the point M, which is in the middle. Knowing the coordinate points of A and B to find the coordinate points of M, we use the midpoint formula AX plus BX over 2, comma, a y plus b y over 2. Here is the four point polygon. First thing is to split, which is adding the midpoint to all four segments. To make the polygon smoother, you take the midpoints and move them to the midpoints of their clockwise neighbor. This is called averaging. Repeating the steps of splitting and averaging creates more points and a smoother shape. Splitting and averaging is how characters are actually created. Taking midpoints and changing two-dimensional polygons into three-dimensionals by replacing them with smooth curves and parabolas. Here is an example before subdivision and after, demonstrating how subdivision creates smooth surfaces. Given the height of 4 feet from the ground to the truck and 10 feet for the distance from the toy car to the truck, solve for the angle at which the car has to jump in order to catch up with the rest of the crew. Given the opposite side of 4 feet and the adjacent side of 10 feet, we use tangent of theta 4 over 10. In order to find the degree, we use arctan of 4 over 10 and get the angle of 21.8 degrees. Therefore, the toy car must jump at a 21.8 degree angle to make it onto the truck. Well, how about let's go visit Giselle? Yeah, maybe she knows how to explain it better than I do. Alright, okay. Hi, Giselle. Hi. 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 Hi.
though. Hi guys, come in. So, what brings you guys here today? I have a question. Yes, Kiket is having a hard time with trigonometry. Yeah, I don't get how it's used in Pixar movies. Well, a lot of Pixar movies have trig identity functions like... In the movie Up, when the house is on its way to Paradise Falls, now, estimate the degree of the angle at which the house must travel in order to reach the top of Paradise Cliff. Given that the cliff is 1,250 feet tall, the house is 300 feet off the ground, and the distance from the cliff to the house is 1,000 feet. First, you will subtract 300 feet from 1,250 feet to get 950 feet left to travel up. Your new triangle will look like the triangle on the right. Now to solve for the angle of this triangle, you will have to use tangent of theta equals 1000 divided by 950. To find the measure of the angle, you will have to use arctan or inverse tan of 1000 divided by 950. Once plugged into the calculator, you will find that the angle equals to 46.5 degrees. So the house must travel at a 46.5 degree angle to reach the top of the cliff. Another example is when Sully is blocking his face from Boo with a teddy bear. Now, analyze the minimum distance the teddy bear is from Sully to fully block his face from Boo. Given that Boo's eye level is 1.8 feet, Sully's eye level is 2.5 feet, the teddy bear is 1 foot, and the distance in between them is 8 feet. From the first triangle, you will solve for the angle. Since you are given the opposite over adjacent, you will use tangent of theta equals 2.5 divided by 8. To solve for the angle, you use arctan or inverse tan of 2.5 divided by 8, and you will get that the angle measures 17.35 degrees. Next, solve for the x in the second triangle. You get tangent of 17.35 degrees equals 1 divided by x. Once you solve, you find that x equals 3.2 feet. Finally, you will subtract the two distances from the triangles. 8 feet minus 3.2 feet equals 4.8 feet. So the minimum distance the teddy bear has to be from Sully is 4.8 feet. <laughs> Estimate the distance between Soli and Mike Wazowski's eye level to find the measure of side B. Well, first when looking at the triangle, you have a hypotenuse of 10 feet and an angle of 25 degrees, and we have to find side B. So, from what we know, we will have to use sine, cosine, or tangent. For this problem, cosine would make more sense using because it's adjacent over hypotenuse. So, you would write cosine 25 degrees, B over 10. And from this point, you want to solve for B. So, you multiply 10 to both sides and end up with 10 cosine 25 degrees. Then you plug it into your calculator and make sure it's in degree mode. So the distance between Soli and Mike Wazowski's eye level is 9 feet. Oh, I get it now. Yeah! yeah. Well, let's continue watching the movie, guys. Woo! <laughs> the making of Monsters, Inc., Toy Story, Up, and the many more Pixar films all owe their power to mathematical innovation. In each of these animated films, created entirely on computers, trigonometry helps rotate and move characters, algebra creates the special effects that make images shine and sparkle, and integral calculus helps light the scenes. Blueprints and models are the basics for building the digital characters, a process similar to constructing physical marionettes with strings to control their motions. The digital strings are animation controls, allowing animators to define the motions of the characters, from bending an elbow to raising an eyebrow. 
So basically, each scene throughout these animated films involves some type of trigonometry. Being open-minded when watching these films will allow you to realize how each of these scenes are created mathematically. Mm-hmm.